Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracing. It's coming to you live, live from Vietnam. Good morning from Vietnam. So it's a great time to be alive, guys. We're going to talk about crypto, crypto, and crypto. We're also seeing that the broader markets are going up because we have a leading inflation uh, data that has come out better than expected. So that is pretty good. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin. We're going to be talking about Crypto.com. And also, too, we're going to be uh, talking about some huge warning factors out there. And we're also going to be talking about that there seems to be a big, big move out there. Uh, more people are moving to uh, to uh, DEXs and getting the money off centralized exchanges. And we're also going to be talking about, looks like there's a new uh, daily crypto trade signal fake account on Twitter that are going out to scam people. So we're going to be talking about that as well, guys. So, and much more. Remember, now this is financial advice. Just an OG in house expressing my opinion. So right now we're seeing that the pre-markets are pumping, guys. And one of the reasons they're pumping out there is because of, uh, is because of this. It absolutely because of this, Dow has uh, gone up almost 400 points in pre-markets right now. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that the pro uh, produce price index almost got tongue-tied out there. A measure of wholesale inflation rose 0.2% for the month versus 0.4. So that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Also, some uh, uh, F updated FTX news. Looks like FTX could have over 1 million creditors in bankruptcy filing. OMG. That's a lot of creditors, guys. So from that perspective, uh, you know, hopefully you guys that uh, 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 on F guys were able to take your money out. If not, you're probably not going to see light of day out there. Uh, unfortunately for me, I wasn't using FTX. I never used FTX, and I just never liked FTX. I never did like Sand Bankman Free. I just didn't like the whole the crazy hairdo, the homeless guy kind of look, guys. So Sand Bankman Free, scam Bankman Free. You get a red card out there. So do it, do it, do it, guys. And uh, guys, do comment, uh, do comment, smash the like, and subscribe. How many of you are absolutely caught behind the eight ball of FTX, guys? Tell me. I would really uh, appreciate uh, hearing from the community, and I do feel sorry for you out there. Also, too, I want to give a big shout-out to, to a couple of members, Travis, Shane, Nick Ann out there, uh, Rose, uh, some of the new uh, members, Daniel in the house, uh, much love, uh, Puerto Rico out there, uh, Jane L, Jane L in the house, and uh, David Ricine, of course, and uh, all, of, all of the great uh, members, Elijah. I just want to say thank you, guys. Thank you for being part of the community. Thank you for showing up and showing out every single day and supporting the OG. I know that right now we've got, I think you've got like daylight, taming, daylight timings, daylight savings time. Can't get my words right. So, you know, guys, I'm sorry. Some of you are going to have to get up early or watch the videos later. Here in Asia, we don't do that kind of thing. But I, but in America, you guys do. Because some of my members are saying, oh, gee, your, your videos are early right now. Oh, gee, it's early, early, early. So I apologize for that. But uh, we've got to keep on keeping on, guys and gals. So let's keep on keeping on. Um, so if you take a look at the total market cap right now. So the market cap is risen. We are still well below $1 trillion. So that's kind of like bush money out there. We are seeing right now that Bitcoin is up 1%, Ethereum is up almost 1%. We're seeing BNB is still down, D -D -D -D, down, down. We're seeing Binance, uh, USD, uh, stablecoin, who cares about that? It looks like XRP is pumping because, you know, we had that news where Coinbase was filing with the SEC to get a report released so they could support XRP, guys. So I think uh, XRP is getting closer and closer to winning the case. Also, Cardano is up as well, 1.88%. We're seeing the Deja Woosier is up and the total market cap is about 11.6 billion out there so we're, we are seeing a little bit of recovery hopefully this is not a fake out uh, and things just going to go dumpity dump dump what's going on for bitcoin right now bitcoin at time recording is just gingerly shy of seventeen thousand dollars and like i said in my previous videos it is trading between seventeen thousand five hundred and fifteen thousand five hundred and forty nine so this was our previous technical bottom before but we have some uh, huge technical support around about 13 uh 13 537 so from my perspective I think we're going to be range bound here for a couple of weeks, uh, maybe even a month, guys. We may even just stay in this range for until the end of November. That's for sure. Uh, unless something really bad happens, we get more crypto contagion out there. So hopefully we don't get any more Sam Bankman Freeds out there. And we are seeing that since the, since the FTX debacle out there, we are seeing absolutely seeing more and more people moving from centralized exchanges, uh, moving their, their cryptocurrency to hardware wallets, guys. Absolutely, they're doing that. Remember, you don't own the keys, you don't own the crypto. So that is something you guys have to keep in mind. And guys, the only way to get crypto is get a Nano Ledger wallet uh, or get a Tracer wallet, guys. My links to both of those are down 
down there, uh, you know, below, below the description. Go down and check it out, guys. I would appreciate it. And guys, Listen, I talk about hardware wallets because it's a way to protect the community. That's why I'm talking. I'm not shelling, guys. Sure, you know, what you pay for is exactly the same as if you didn't use my link, but at least we get something, and that's going to help and go back to the community in the future, guys. So that's pretty good. So, guys, do secure your, your crypto out there. I would appreciate it. You would appreciate it. I mean, tr trust me. I sleep really good at night. I absolutely sleep really good at night. And, you know, my nano ledger is stuck right here in my box right there. I, I sleep good. Like, I mean... This is my pillow of sleep, guys, so I, I feel pretty good about that. I have about 90 to 92% of all my crypto on my Nano Ledger wallet, so I really don't care too much when things uh, start, you know, when the exchanges start getting weird and wacky out there. Uh, so from that perspective, that's what I'm doing. That's what you should do. That's not final advice. You do you out there. You absolutely do you. Bitcoin on the weekly is looking good, looking good. So far this week, Bitcoin has uh, gotten to a high of about uh, uh, 17,796. So that is pretty good. Hopefully uh, Bitcoin can retrace and go back up there, guys. If you take a look at the heat, heat map, guys, things are just switching positive, guys. Pow, pow, things are going positive, so that is good news out there. You're going to love it. Now, it looks like uh, Crypto.com has basically uh, dodged a whole FUD wallet, a FUD, FUDY FUD event out there because a lot of people, including me, were getting pretty, pretty scared that Crypto.com could be collapsing, uh, and luckily, so far, they seem to have uh, recover well not recover remember their October October 21st is when they sent that 350,000 uh, uh, theorem to gate uh, IO out there so you know I'm still not convinced that uh, they should be uh, sending their crypto back and forth so exchanges can take uh, snapshots we need to have a deeper investigation into that one but so far uh, looks like uh, you know Crypto support after about 22 hours finally got back to me. As I said earlier in my previous video, sure, it was the same old, same old, you know, copy and paste answer they've been giving everybody. We really didn't get a straight answer because I asked them, why did you guys uh, send the 350,000 uh, uh, Ethereum? And the support said it was an internal mistake. You, gotta, uh, you know, the whole, the whole what Chris has been, what Chris has been spouting up. So according to Chris, they're highly regulated. Yep, okay, fine. But the withdrawal queue is down 98% in the last 24 hours. Hours. So, you know, when, when uh, you know, they had the whole FDX uh, debacle out there, you know, a lot of people were withdrawing a lot of crypto off there, off the uh, crypto.com. But that has seemed to have slowed down, died down because the FUD is, the FUD is subsiding a little bit. So that is pretty good. As you guys know, crypto.com did disclose its addresses and has about, well, it had, had 3 million in assets. It don't have 3 million assets anymore. Uh, it has about uh, 2.4 billion out there and the balance of that is uh, the balance that's gone is because of two reasons because crypto prices have changed and there's been uh, a lot of bitcoin and ethereum been taken off guys and 20 percent believe it or not 20 percent 20.86 percent of their holdings is in shiba inu and that is because according to chris out there is because a lot of users on the platform love shiba inu so that's why well we'll believe it let's see guys and guys so for our beloved douche coin right now so for the douche you right now doge is at 0877 and it looks like it uh, is respecting our uh, triangle there. It is trying to break out, guys. So we have some huge, huge resistance at 094. Hopefully, we get past that. And then our next big resistance is going to be about uh, 15, 1591 is big, big resistance, guys. Big pow resistance in the house, guys. So let's take a look at what's going on with the market at cap. Cap, uh, we got about $800 million in, uh, in volume right now. It's down about 27.51. A lot of people are just kind of like, you know, those people have moved their crypto. They're happy. People are just kind of sitting around wondering what is going on out there. And like me, I'm not going to be doing much of anything crypto-wise until, until next week, guys. I want to see what's going on and see if there's any more crypto contagion happening. You know, BlockFi could be done and dusted as well. You know, Gate.io, Hyobi has, uh, has $18 million uh, in FTX that they can't get out. So let's see what's going on. The market cap is about 11.6, as I said earlier. Uh, about 58% in the money, 38% out of the money. Mostly bearish are the indicators for the Dujia Wuja right now. Uh, social sentiment is down, but it's not as down as much as it was uh, when we had the FTX debacle. So that is good. Guys, if you're part of the Doge Army, guys, come on, buckle up. Let's get going. And remember, uh, in my previous video, I did talk about that Elon Musk did telegraph. Uh, he was asked, is Dogecoin going to be the official currency of Twitter? And he kind of just uh, tweeted out, 
the eyes, guys. Look, look, look. So like, we're going to look into it, and hopefully that's going to happen, guys. Don't forget, we've got the douche X1 to the moon. And don't forget, we did say that Dogecoin did say Dogecoin, Dogecoin in a Twitter, uh, in a, on a Twitter forum out there. So that's good, guys. Absolutely good. Justin Binance CEO thinks Sam by, by uh, Sam. I can't, I can't, I don't know what's going on with me. I can't talk today. I don't know, just, I'm just tongue tied. So Justin Binance CEO uh, thinks Sam Bankman fried chicken lied to his staff, shareholders, and regulators and news. Of course he did. He's one of the biggest frauds out there. He's like the biggest fraud of 2022, and he will probably go down in infamy as being the guy that basically tanked crypto and uh, push crypto back about two years guys so he did he really just did you know things uh, i mean i wonder i wonder where bitcoin would be right now if we did not have the sam bankman fried incident just in about one hundred ninety two thousand dollars uh, 192,000 Bitcoin have flown off exchanges. That's about $3.2 million have been taken off exchanges in the last seven days, guys. So that is amazing. And if you look at uh, crypto.quant, let me get my, get my punam out of face, get my punam, my face out of there. If you, t if you take a look at what's going on with crypto.com, you can see that the amount of, uh, you know, the amount of uh, Bitcoin on the exchange reserve is going down, diddy, down, down. And we'd all expect that normally is good news because that means we're seeing that more and more people are not believe in the exchanges and they're moving their crypto to hardware wallets guys go take a look at the chart take a look at the chart 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 it's right over there i can't see because everything's reversed but you can see that a lot of bitcoin has been taken off reserves and that and that is off exchanges and that is not good guys so we're seeing that exchanges reserves of bitcoin are going down guys so that's going to actually help that's going to you know if you're moving your bitcoin to hardware wallets and there's nothing on the exchanges it's going to become scarce so if there's any demand out there Price is going to go up. So this this could be a good catalyst. So this whole, this whole uh, stinktasian, the crypto stinktasian, as I'm going to call it, the scam bank my free stinktasian out there. This could actually be good for crypto. It could be it could be a nice thing for crypto. So let's see what happens with that. Justin Circle USDC as support for Apple Pay. So we're seeing that more and more crypto exchanges, more and more cryptocurrencies, uh, and payment gateways are using uh, uh, Apple's Apple Pay is allowing uh, crypto transactions. So that is pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. JP Morgan says that all the recent collapses in crypto ecosystem has been from centralized players and not decentralized or DeFi out there so this is something that you guys have to remember that all of this contagion stinktasion from uh, scam bank my free uh, this has all been on uh, centralized exchanges guys most of it's come from centralized exchanges out there so it's not coming from it's not coming from DeFi, guys it's not coming from decentralized exchanges and protocols it's coming from centralized exchanges Look at the Celsius. It was a lending platform, aka slash exchange, right? They were doing some exchange stuff over there. You could exchange tokens, right? So it's not looking good, guys. So that is why more and more people are getting sick and tired of it out there. So also Edward Snowden is basically saying as well that, uh, you know, there's a lot of, some people say, I look like Edward Snowden. What do you think I say? Look like Edward Snowden a little bit. Anyways, uh, you know, a lot of people and Edward Snowden is saying, look, centralized exchanges, <laughs> red card city, get yourself off of uh, centralized exchanges and the best way to do that is get a hardware wallet and then you can c connect to decentralized exchanges and DeFi, and do whatever you need to do there and most hardware wallets do have natively the ability to onboard crypto by using your credit card that kind of thing and then you can also connect it to uniswap and swap right there guys so that's what i mean you can connect your hardware wallet to things like uniswap uh, and all that kind of stuff and uh, pancake swap and you can swap your crypto over there so that is pretty good trust wallet has something built in as well so that is kind of cool now gate io they said they, they said this they they produced this uh, audit from october but you know it's a lot of people think it's a little bit shady right a uh, gate io claims to be audited by uh, armanio llp the same company that audited fdx what <laughs> out there so that's kind of it. the audit was limited to bc B, btc ethereum and not stables not fiat and not altcoins what and uh you know so that's kind of interesting uh or even better use fiat stable altcoin holding the collateral to borrow btc and ethereum at the time of audit and nowhere in the report nowhere in the report did they use the word audit 
They just didn't. So that's kind of interesting, guys. So uh, Gate.io and Crypto.com pointed out that the audit was based on blockchain snapshot from October 19th. So two days before the Crypto.com transfer. So two days before the Crypto.com transfer, guys. So but the audit reveals that the address listed used for the snapshot was provided on October 20th and not prior to the snapshot, which is suspicious. So guys, be careful with Gate.io. There could be something weird and wacky happening on there. I'm not spreading fun. I'm not spreading fun. But the audit was weird, guys. The audit was weird. Also, uh, where? Do, but it gets even worse. Audit does not provide the list of wallets used for the snapshot. In fact, Gate.io still hasn't published their wallets list as of today. So you can see here that you know most of the exchanges right now, uh, you can see most entities right now, uh, Binance, OK, 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 OKX, Crypto.com, KuCoin, Derbit, Bitfinex, Hubei, uh, they have uh, listed, but there's no Gate IO out there. What's up with that Gate IO? Or is there something going on out there? So that's kind of weird, guys. Absolutely kind of weird. So keep your guy, keep keep an eye on Gate IO. Uh, I'm not saying to take off your crypto, but if it was if I had crypto on Gate IO, I'd be moving it to hardware wallet. That's just me. You do you out there. You absolutely do you out there. If you take a look at what's going on with the leverage A Bazillion right now, 75 million. And uh, if you take a look at how much, uh, let's see, let's uh, refresh this. Let me give this a refresh here. Refresh, 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 refresh. So uh, thank goodness, thank goodness that the Doge or Woj or a lot of people <laughs> stop leverage trading the Doge. Well, we got Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, XRP, Solana uh, is the top traded, uh, top leverage coins out there, guys. So it is what it is. It's like, I'm getting tongue tied. I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing a lot of shorts out there. So that's good. The short squeeze is going to push things up. Let's see what's going on with a Shibi Weeby right now. So hopefully Shibi Weeby, get out of there. Get out of there. Hopefully, Shibi Weeby is doing better than it was before. Yeah, it's still at 0, 0, 0.09264. It still has not dropped to zero. It still has not deleted a zero. So let's giddy on up. Shibi Weeby out there. Uh, Ethereum at 1273. That is pretty good, guys. Uh, I was at uh, it was at like 12.42 or my previous video. It's get going up right now. Link is doing what Link is doing. It's just going sideways. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. The Link is out there. Must not be happy out there. So it's at three zeros and one seven five, guys. So it's doing it's doing the it's doing the dippy dip walk out there. So guys, keep the faith with the uh, Link out there. I mean, I divested. I absolutely divested in Lunk a long time ago. So I mean, I got. I think got like three hundred bucks on Lunk. I, I just kind of like. I didn't get it, guys. Too much hypey hype out there. So from that perspective, that's gonna bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy out there, guys. Remember, crypto is a jungle right now. It is crazy. Uh, I'm not doing anything with my crypto uh, until next week. I'm just kind of like just standing back on the sidelines. I'm wondering what's gonna be going on. And waiting for life-changing wealth, guys, in 2025. So, guys, be careful out there. Crypto is a jungle. Uh, don't forget to go down there. Smash the likes. Smashy, smashy the likey wikers. I would appreciate it. Uh, do go follow me on my Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. Uh, before I do that, though, before I do that, I got to just tell you, there is a fake uh, There is a fake Twitter account out there. I should have talked about this earlier in the video. I forgot. There is a fake, fakeity, fake, fake Crypto Daily Trade Signals uh, Twitter account. This is the real one. Notice, notice it's Crypto Daily TS. Now, there's this fake one out there, and this is Crypto, Crypto Daily TS, okay? And uh, basically, it looks like that. And what they have been doing, they have your snapshot of what, what's going on. So they're reaching out to members. They start out, hello, how are you doing out there? And then what happens is they, uh, they say, look, they've got this program. Uh, you know, they've got this program running for new old crypto, new or old crypto investors. And the trading platform is very successful, blah, blah, blah. And it says basically, which is complete complete scam right they said if you if you if you invest you know, five thousand dollars that they will uh, they will uh, give you twenty five thousand dollars back in um, in five days like if you believe that then you need to have your brain examined okay and uh, this is this is uh, this is the name it's called spartbullmarket.com and they say that they're regulated and all this guys it's a complete scammy whammy whammy so guys if you do see this it looks and it looks exactly like mine I mean, they're copying all of my tweets for tweets, and it looks exactly like my uh, like my Twitter, guys. It is a complete scam. 
They've, uh, they've got uh, 1,119 followers. Remember, the official Twitter, we have 5,140, and we started back in July 2017, not 2009. So this is just a scam account. This, this is the scam account. This is the real account, guys. So, guys, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe. Don't forget to follow the channel. I would appreciate it. And, guys, don't forget we've got the uh, link to the Ledger. The uh, hardware wallet is there. The link. Uh, become a Patreon member. Buy the channel of coffee. I would appreciate it. And, guys, don't forget to get the merch, guys. So, that's all I got. That's absolutely all I got. Be well. Ah. Be blessed. Ah. Ah. Crypto is a jungle, guys. Absolute crypto is a jungle. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. I'm out of here. I'm tired. I've got tongue tied. I don't know what's going on. That's crazy. It's a crazy. We got we got we got the Sam Bankman Freed. We got people impersonating my Twitter account. What the heck is going on with that, guys? It's tiring. It's so tiring. Absolutely tiring. I'll see you next one. Peace out.